Hello, this is Jess from JessChua.com. Today I thought I would do a mini book review as my next vlog. As you can see, my little table is becoming a bit more cluttered. This is my old Yeti mic that I'm going to be trying out for future vlogs. I also have a tripod at the back there that I haven't opened and I'm gonna try connecting the microphone to the phone with this USB adapter. The book I wanted to mention today is French Women Don't Get Fat by Mireille Giuliano. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. I, I checked before, so it should be close to correct. I have three bullet points here, which is like a super summary of key takeaway points. One is that French women emphasize pleasure over deprivation when it comes to food. And I thought this was very intriguing because we don't really get this approach towards food in American culture. I also wrote a blog post um, and I took a couple of photos. This is a photo of one of the recipes in the book, which is a basic vegetable soup. I found it very delicious, although I did make slight adjust adjustments. I threw in a small beef shank and cooked it with beef broth because I like a little bit more depth to the flavor of, of the soup base. The second point I'd like to share from the book is that French women practice mindful eating. They're not so much into counting calories, but they're very conscious of savoring food that they enjoy. They also tend to eat a lot more vegetables and fruits compared to American women. I have a couple of bookmarks over here showing some of the recipes. This one, I think I'm going to try this later in the day with apples. Over here, this is a blueberry baby smoothie, which looks very, very nice. And over here again is, of course, the basic vegetable soup that I liked a lot. Towards the end, there are also some recipes where you can make your own bread and croissant. So the last bullet point, um, this might sound commonsensical and I guess it is, but in our busy lives, it can be very easy to forget common sense information. So you want to be aware of your proportions and always use quality ingredients when you are cooking at home, you also want to make sure your the recipes that you cook at home are simple so that you don't get overwhelmed. It's also vital to do some basic daily movement. And the author shared that she usually takes a 20 to 30 minute walk before breakfast and taking one after dinner is a good idea also because it helps with digestion. If you want to see more bullet points, um, I'm, I've included the link to my blog post with a slightly fuller book review. I'm going to try setting up my tripod and microphone connection very soon and see how that works out for future vlogs. So that's all I have for today. Um, happy eating and if you have any mindful eating tips or cultural approaches to food, let me know. Thank you.